welcome to my channel this is Vijay Lakshmi and this is a continuation video of my previous video and this is the first model what uh, we are going to discuss using Django and uh, this question you can expect for the exam also so they may give you a question like uh, consider a model with book author and publisher data layout and an author has a salutation mr. or mrs. and a first name last name an email address and a headshot photo and a publisher model has uh, attributes like name, street address, city, state or province, a country and website. And a book has a title and publication data. So this is a model to pub, uh, to identify how many books an author has published and uh, so under relevant uh, attributes related to this uh, author, publisher and the book. So a book has a title and publication date. It also has one or more authors and a single publisher and a one to many relationship that is foreign keeps to the publisher. So when the when a model is given like this, we have to develop a Django models for this. So in models.py file, we create classes for the publishers, author and the book. Okay. So here from Django, like how we create the tables in DBMS, here we are going to create the models for this. Uh, that is the author and the author publisher and the book so from django.db import models the first command we ought to be supposed to give and class publisher models dot model okay we are creating classes for each of the entity what we have chosen so class has name address city so for everything you have to include models dot character field maximum length is 30 and address models dot care field care max length equal to 50 so like this this is the syntax we should follow for each of the attribute okay so models dot character field what should be the maximum length of that country and website models dot url field so this is about the class publisher similarly create classes for author and the book so salutation models dot care field that is max length is 10 and the first name last name email and headshot follow this syntax to create the classes and similarly for the book we have attributes like title authors publisher and on delete cascade we are using here so versions on delete was not mandatory and last field is the publication date okay so each model here each class is called as a model in python uh, is represented by a python class that is a subclass of django.db.models.model. So the parent class model, so the parent class model contains all the machinery necessary to make these objects capable of interacting with a database. So each class has extends Django db.models.model corresponds to a single database table and each att attribute generally corresponds to a column in that database table. So like name of the entity and the columns of the table what we see in the DBM is the same way. So the attribute name corresponds to columns name and the type of field that is care field corresponds to the data column type var care. It is similar to var care in DBMS. So book has a many to many field called authors. Book data uh, database table does not get an authors column. Rather Django creates an additional table, a many to many join table that handles the mapping of books to authors. So Django automatically gives every model an integer primary key field called ID. So to use image field, we need to install pillow and add media URL, media root properties to settings.py. For example, we have to include like this. pip install pillow in settings.py file import, type this command import OS and media URL and media root. This path has to be given. To print SQL table structure, earlier versions of Django was using SQL all. Okay, we give the syntax like python manage.py SQL all books. So here, uh, where books, uh, uh, books means books is an application whose models.py contains classes for publisher, author and the book. So books is the application name what we have used here. Okay, so SQL all command does not create tables in database. So in your versions, so what we have to do, we have to use sync cdb command is used to create the tables. So we have to give the command like this, python manage.py 
sing CDB. But in newer new versions of Django, we have a migration command. That is, we have to use in new versions of Django. The steps what we follow is Python manage dot py make migration for books we are using. So this migration command creates tables. It modifies the columns, adds indexes, and performs any other database related operations needed to reflect the changes we make. So the migrate command takes care of order in which migrations are applied, ensuring that dependence, dependencies between the migrations are satisfied. For example, once we use this command, we can use uh, commands like view the SQL statements. To view, we use the command python manage.py SQL migrate books 001. So we can see uh, the table how act actually it is created. Okay, that is create table publisher using a uh, using the migration. We can do, we can modify the columns, we can create the tables, we can perform uh, all operations what we do on the DBMS uh, tables. The same thing can be done here also. So here create table books author the same way. We can see how uh, each uh, each table gets created. And to create index books books author author ID on books books author we have to specify the author id then you can type the commit okay guys so again apply the migration so once we apply the migration what happens means the table names are automatically generated by combining the name of the app and the lowercase name of the model so name of the model here is app name is books and model names are public uh, publish publisher book and author so Django adds a primary key for each table automatically. That is the ID fields. We, we can override this too. So by convention, Django appends underscore ID to foreign key field name. So you can override this behavior also. So the foreign key relationship is made explicit by a references statements. So the create table statements are tailored to the databases you are using. So here, this is a basic data access. Suppose we type the following command that is from books.model import publisher. So once we give this, we get the rows information is retrieved like this. P1 equal to this, save this P1 dot uh, save. To save that row of information, we have to use P1 dot save. And P2 equal to publisher, we are like how we insert the values into the table. So this is how we insert the values into the tables and then we give the save. So this P1, P2, P3 are the object names. So once we do this and type publisher list, okay, we have to use publisher. Publisher list is equal to publisher dot objects dot all. So once you type publisher list, we get the output like this. Okay. So query set that is publisher is to publisher object and publisher is to publisher object 2, 3 and so on. Okay, guys, so to create an object, just import the appropriate model class and initiate it by passing in values for each of the field. To save the object in the database, we call the save method on the object behind the scenes. So Django executes SQL insert statement. To retrieve objects from the database, we use publisher.object.all. So we use the method objects.all to retrieve the data in the database. So this is adding model string representations. So when we printed out the list of publishers, all we got was the was this was unhelpful display, which makes it difficult to tell the publisher objects apart. So here query set, we got the output like this. So we want the output to be displayed in a easy way so that by seeing that we can understand means we can use the string method. That string method tells Python how to display the string representation of an object. So we can fix this by using the method string. So for the class publisher, the model what we have created, we have to write define string self. So this is the methods what we use in the Python return self dot name. Okay, guys. So like this we can do. So hope you have understood for for the rest of the models also we use the string representation like this. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you all.